After a scoreless top of the first inning, Sparta pitcher Sam Griner ends a 1-2-3 bottom of the first with this strikeout for the fourth seeded Spartans in this North 1 Group 3 final against number 2 West Milford. We move to the top of the second and Mary Kaczynski of Sparta drops in this single into center field despite the great effort by West Milford center fielder Haley Palladino. Then two batters later, Colleen Burtzel reaches on the error as the throw intended for second base goes into center field and Sparta has runners on first and second with one out. And Sparta takes advantage of another West Milford miscue here as the Highlanders misplay Kelsey O'Connor's number in front of the plate, allowing Mary Kaczynski to score from second base and Sparta takes a 1-0 lead. Okay, bottom of the second, and Mackenzie Porch sends this base hit into right center for the West Milford Highlanders with one out. Then the Highlanders put runners on first and second on this infield single by Victoria Torp as West Milford looks to tie this game up. But like she has all season, watch Sam Griner come up with a huge pitch when she needs it as she gets the K to end the threat and the inning for the Spartans. Okay, we move to the bottom of the third, and Steph Romano of West Milford reaches on this infield single with one out as Kelsey O'Connor does a nice job of not letting the ball reach the outfield for Sparta. Then watch Sam Griner let her defense do the work as Courtney Noon corrals this soft liner at second base to end the inning with Sparta still holding a 1-0 lead. All right, top of the fourth, and red-hot Mary Kaczynski rips this hard single to left field to start things off for Sparta. Then watch Casey Kresbaugh drop down the perfect bunt for a single, and Sparta has runners on first and second with one out. And then Kelsey O'Connor sends this screamer that is too hot for West Milford First baseman Mackenzie Porch to handle, allowing Mary Kaczynski to score her second run of the game from second base, and Sparta takes a 2-0 lead. Sparta's defense has been a good all season. Watch Kelsey O'Connor with a long throw from shortstop to nip Mackenzie Porch at first base for the second out of the bottom of the fourth. Okay, Sam Griner was a bulldog all game. Watch her notch the strikeout here to end a 1-2-3 bottom of the fifth for the Spartans. To the bottom of the sixth we go, and West Milford is looking to mount a comeback like it has in its last two state tourney wins. It's Steph Romano who delivers this leadoff single to center field. If the ground out move Romano to second, watch Kelsey O'Connor with a terrific catch as she tracks down this liner by Zara Zambelli for the second out of the inning for the Spartans. But West Milford would break through here on the Sparta error, and it's a 2-1 game as Romano scores. And the Highlanders tied it up on this wind-aided fly ball to short right by Mackenzie Porch that the Spartans can't handle, and we have a 2-2 game. Okay, top of the seventh, Lauren Krukowski gets up for Sparta, and she leads off the inning with this infield single up the middle to get the Spartans going. Then West Milford intentionally walks Sam Griner, and on the very next pitch, it's Mary Kaczynski with her third hit of the day, a history-making three-run liner over the fence and left into the woods, and the Spartans take a 5-2 lead. What a clutch hit for the senior. Big hit. All right, West Milford threatens in the bottom of the seventh, but watch Courtney Noon catch the little pop-up, and the Sparta Spartans post a dramatic 5-2 win to capture their first section title since 2005 as Jerry Morelli gets the post-game reaction from the happy Spartans. There's no words for how I felt when I hit that ball. I mean, I felt like the whole, the whole ball hit off my bat, and it felt so good, and I just knew it was going to go over the fence. And just feeling that... Um, I mean, it was just such a great accomplishment for me, knowing that we were going to win and get those winning runs. Um, but yeah, it was a really good feeling when I hit that. It was so clutch. I mean, she's a great hitter, and when they intentionally walked me, I was kind of mad. But I knew Mary would get it done, and it was a great hit. I knew she was looking for a single, and she just ripped it. It was an awesome hit. It was just outstanding. Perfect timing, the perfect batter up. She's been hitting the ball well all season, as you, as you notice through the games. Her name always figures in for in the run situation, but that was just tremendous. Once again, Sparta pitcher Sam Griner gunning out a tough performance, getting the victory for the Lady Spartans on the hill. I thought I did well. Um, I mean, they were timing me pretty good. They started getting a lot of hits, but my defense is always behind me like they always are. They made great plays, and me and Meg worked so well together. We got out of the innings that we needed to get out of, and we just played a great game. Sam's been that way all season. I mean, the University of South Florida, they're getting a great competitor. And a great player and a great person. Right, Coach? Definitely. She's outstanding. Well, they both are, both she and Mary. Kelsey O'Connor, a solid performance for Sparta, terrific at shortstop, and she drove in a run in this victory. All season long, I've had really problems with my throws lately, and you know, this time, this game, we're all like, let's focus on one thing we can really improve on, and throwing was mine. So for my seniors, I worked on my throwing, I got every defensive play I could, so I just, I had to get them. Lauren Krulikowski's big hit in the seventh inning got the Lady Spartans going. The previous inning, I'm in there in the field, and then it kind of, everything snowballed from that, so I knew 
It was kind of like another game previously, and I knew I had to get the ball rolling, and I've been hitting all day, but just not to the right spot. So it felt so good to get it right in the right spot. It's just perfect. Besides that big home run for Sparta, Mary Kozinski had a big day at the plate, going three for four and scoring three runs. I'm really uh, proud of the way I played today. I mean, uh, at Paramus, I didn't really have a good batting uh, consistency, but uh, overall, I thought I did really good this game and really did a lot for our team today, and uh, I'm really proud of our team, how far we've come. So Sparta takes home a North Jersey Section 1 Group 3 state title, and they couldn't be happier. It feels great. I mean, it's a great accomplishment for us. I mean, I'm so proud. Uh, I mean, we've been working so hard to get this far and to keep on going further. I mean, we could go all the way if we wanted to. We're such a good team. We play together like a team, and um, it's just a great accomplishment. It's amazing. I've looked forward to this for four years, and I knew my senior year would be it because our team is just so amazing. We're all friends. We have great chemistry. We work hard. We want every game. We're in every game. We don't let down, and this is the year. I can feel it. We're going to win states. It's honestly, I know it sounds like cliche, but it's incredible. It's the best thing ever. I mean, it's a great way to kick off, like, to end this season, I guess you could say, but we're not over yet. We're going all the way to the States. We're going to the finals. Ready to go to Tom's River? Oh, yeah. I'm ready for the bus ride. <laughs> it feels amazing. Every game we play later is for our seniors. Um, it's just great to win for them. It's great to like go back to our school, proms tomorrow. So we like to go back to our school and like we got respect now. Dan said I jumped really high in the air. I said a couple years ago I wouldn't have got off the ground. <laughs> no, it's just amazing. This team... Uh, they're so close-knit, they support each other, They've, this is a special team.